Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to delete to duplicate two values from the table. So at here I am using dot for Oracle and currently working on Scott schema and using EMP3 table. So first I am going to show you the record inside EMP3 table. So see at here, this is the EMP3 table records and here total numbers of rows are 18. And see it's a or 10, so it's a duplicate. And here 20, it's a duplicate, and 30 is the duplicates. So I want to load only unique values from the table. Okay, so for this, uh, we have to use this query. So this query I already written to save some time. So add here the first is, uh, if you, the first query is delete from EMP3, where row ID not in. So about the row ID and row num funds. Function I already discussed in my previous video. So add here, or uh, the first add here inner query is select max row ID. So if you execute this query, so see you get to this values. So add here this value going to copy. Yeah. So one more thing, if you let's enter add here DPT number also DPT number. Okay. Now execute this query. Now let's copy that one. And uh, here after so uh, see add here. So uh, see add here. It's a row ID. This value is the row ID and here this is the DPT number. So if you execute to this query, so you get to this values. Here. So this is the maximum maximum row ID. So add here or delete from EMP3 where row ID not in. So this values not in. So add here 10, 20, 30 values not in. So if you execute this upper query, so see add here 15 rows deleted from 18. Now here after that, so check the record. So see add here it's only loading 10, 20, and 30. So this is the first way to delete to duplicate record. So add here select max row ID. So this is the max row ID. So this value not in. Add here I am using not in operator. So this value not in. Then definitely that return this all values. So this is the first way to delete to duplicate values from the table. Now here after let's execute our query. So this is the record inside. So add here I am going to insert some duplicate values here. So total 15 rows inserted and your total records are 18 here. Now here after the second way we can use safe chain here. So if you execute this inner query so see at here this is the maximum row ID here uh, it's a display. So this is for add here I am using or uh, E2. So E1 is the alias of EMP3 table and E2 is the alias of EMP3 table. So add here inner joint. So inner joint concept I already discussed in my previous video. So add here the one condition is DPT number of E1 and E2 equal. So add here if you execute this query. So this kind of result you will get. Okay. So this is for DPT number. Yeah. So here after max so here a uh, row id so this value definitely so select max row id so definitely this value is the greater so this value less than so this value so if the condition is match then the if the where condition is true then the value delete otherwise it won't delete anything so if you execute this query now let's say so add here 15 rows deleted. So check the record inside. So see at here it's only returning unique values. So this is the things here. Yeah. So this time I use inner joint concept to delete to duplicate values. Now here after you can give add here greater than and here in place of max you can enter mean. Okay, no need to change anything. Now let's enter some duplicate values here. So it's a, this is the record here. I'm going to insert duplicate values. 
so here I execute that so here after let's execute this term main so see I have 15 rows deleted now check the record so add here it's only displaying unique values so if you are using mean aggregator function so you have to use add here row id greater than or select mean row id so if this condition is true row id less than mean row id then the value will delete otherwise won't so this is the second way now here after you can use or this query also so first uh, let's uh, see the record so this is the three records inside now here after i'm going to enter some duplicate values so here total numbers of rows this time 18 18 here now here after let's uh, see this record so if you execute to this query so this query means two values now it's returning 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Yeah. So this is for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So it's returning 1, 2, 3 because at here this create the partition on DPT number. So here yeah, if you execute to this query, see at here or do value. So 1, 2, 3, 4 because 10 is 4 times, 20 is 6 times. So that here, it's a partition by DPT number and order by row ID and here row number. So if you or uh, two value, it's uh, returning one two three four. And here I used greater condition one two three or uh, two value greater than one. And here select row ID where e dot row ID in. So if you execute this query, so this query also return unique values fifteen or duplicated value it's a deleted now here after I execute so see at here it's only returning unique values now here after in place of uh, row number you can use dance rank function no need to change anything only keep at here dance rank so here going to enter so this only three records now insert some record so here 15 total 18 record insert the table Return 18. Now, here after, let's check that one. So, here, execute. So, see, I have 1, 2, 3. So, about the rank and row number function, I already discussed. So, when that found any duplicate value, so rank created only, or uh, you uh, missed, so uh, I have 1, 2, 3. So, when that found 10, 10. So, I have I give an order by EMP number. So, when that found EMP number, it's a duplicate. So, it's create the one unique rank 33. And here, uh, where condition to get the one. So, if you execute this query, 15 rows deleted. Now, check the record. So, see, I have only unique values. It's a returning. So, this is the uh, four method to delete to duplicate record inside the table so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you